kill them. But leave the mouthy one alive. I have plans for him. Oh, she wants me sexually. All right. Trap detected. Where? Oh, back there? That? I don't care about that. All right. Sleep. And uh, shattering shot. And sunder her armor. And assault her. Not sexually, though, because she likes James Duran for that. Not James Duran. Damn it! What the fuck? Where the hell did she go? I'm going to I, I didn't mean James Duran. James Duran isn't here. Char she wants Charles. Oh, what the fuck? That is not cool. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been responding to Morrow in comments all day. Uh, damn it. Die. Winner's grasp. And, uh, one, two minute sweep and shield bash. Oh. So that would be a lot of things that we are fighting here. Okay, uh, I don't really need to heal though for how much is going on around here. Uh, arrow of slaying. What does that do again? Uh, automatic critical hit if the shot finds its target. Oh, uh, high level targets may be able to ignore the effect, so she's probably going to ignore it. Because she's high level. And you can go for a pummel strike and an overpower. Alright, now we can finally heal Sten. And that's really pushing it. We don't really need to. Another shattering shot, please. And you can't do anything threaten precise striking. That's activated. I don't really need that. And you can do shield bomb. <laughs> And damn, that has a lot of things. Hopefully I can just get away with killing her and I don't have to kill everybody else. No, you're hitting that one still. Uh, but for this, I'm not sure that's going to be how this works. Yeah, they are not doing much damage. Alright, no, we have to kill everything, unfortunately. So if you guys could come over here, that would be appreciated. And go for a mind blast. You guys, yeah, down here, please. Down here. Did he, how do you get all that back? All right, he needs to berserk too. Is he berserked? He said berserk. There we go. He berserked himself. Good job. Uh, now I could probably go for that there. You can just drink that. All right, down that guy goes. Damn, this is a lot of fucking people. <laughs> is the best way for me to put it. I think I have clarified the situation immensely. Uh, yeah, go for him. You go for him. For the Grey Wardens, yes. For me. Oh, for me. And if you could heal yourself, I don't know who's hitting you, but it's probably this guy. He can die. Alright, back over here. And now we can... Oh, now I remember. Oh, we have an assassin. Now I remember what I needed to do. Uh, spells? Is it? It is spells. Uh, she had a healing spell. Regeneration. Um, was it? No, wait. Didn't she have, like, a heal everybody thing? Spirit heal. There we go. Group heal. That was it. That was it. Drain life. Damn it. She kind of needs all of these. What am I not using? Horror, because it's a single target. Yeah, there you go. Move that and that and that. And then we can put spirit. Yeah, that one there. There we go. That was what I wanted to do from Done. forever ago. I finally remembered. If you can put people to sleep, that would be appreciated. Oh, shit. Uh, heals. Heal him. Heal him. Thank you. Right, can you put people to sleep? You can! Right now! <laughs> Had to wait a second there. Right now, yeah, let's finish him off. And then uh, everybody start attacking him. And you need to drink one of these. That doesn't help heal nearly as much as I was hoping. Alright, group heal. How much? Oh, shit! Did you see what that did? That healed everybody full. That's insane. Saving the day. Holy crap. 
Like I said, one freaking level up in this game. Like, changes everything. So that was hard until I remembered that I had that ability. Alright, now hit this guy. Now hit this guy. Level up for Alistair. Since that last heal, I probably don't need to do it again. Trap triggered, but everybody resisted it. And down they go. There we go. That took forever, but we did it. Sharvi is now dead. Quest updated. Now I probably need to go back. Uh, it's now time to return to Harrowmont. Please don't make me run all the way back. I hate doing that. Any game. Any game that makes you do that. Oh, God. It's so annoying. Okay. Grab that. Grab that. All of this is good. Yes. And all be sold. I still rem I still need to remember to sell that stuff because I'm not using it for whatever crafting I'm supposed to be using that kind of stuff on. Please don't make me go all the way back. It was such a long thing. Holy crap! Okay, want that, that, and that. Um, I think that's what this is. So I got the same. Yeah, one, one seventy-five plus the plus five. It's the same thing. Okay, this. I think I need to give to Liliana. That would probably be very good for her. And then the key and that. I only need. The, you know, what, I'll, I'll take a second one, just in case Liliana needs it. Even though I don't really care what she needs, I guess. But just, just, just in case I should happen to need to use her again. Get up. We're outside of battle. You're fine. So that was her little trick. Charles, you're supposed to be able to detect this crap. That is your primary duty with me. Dwarven helmet. No good. We've seen that before. Crap. Yeah. So simple to see. Yeah, you detect this one now. Yeah, I could have told you there was one there. Shit, man. And I can't do anything with it. Like, seriously. I'm going right along it and they're not doing... Walk over it then! Fucking dumbass. You deserve that. You deserve that for not being able to deal with that. Yes. Anything on the weapon racks? No. No. I mean, not for a double-handed 12.6 damage. I'm then nothing in there. Anything on the desk for me to read? No. Don't want to come back here. Metal door! This leads... Going. Somewhere. But this is even more of a dead end, so we'll go through this metal door instead. What's through here? There we go. Big ass chest. What's in the big ass chest? Love letter. Dormant armored gloves. No good. What's in here? It's no good. Uh, codex updated because we got another love letter. Hopefully we got something good. There we go. Here it is. To weareth lowstone, age, race, height. I care not for the differences others perceive, but matching your helmet to my tunic for the amusement of standing in line with your new silent sisters invited attention where none was desired. I will not suffer your company again. Allison Highover. Gonna miss knocking heads with those girls. What the fuck is this? What happened? What is... Are these even related? I don't think they are. And that disappoints me. Because it started off so immoral and devious and just ended up being standard. And I don't like that. I don't like the way that that ended up. But I... Oh. Alistair leveled up. Can't forget about that. And, um... Cunning. You probably need more cunning. Yeah, so that we could get that. I mean, that's that's what these guys need, is is those leveled up. Okay, champion, war cry, penalty to attack. Um, but then I also, with superiority at the highest level, he can also do more. Um, we might go for that. Threaten, disengage, oh, those are really that great. Um, but, oh, well, we've already done all the rest, so sure, war cry. Can't do that. Three tactic slots acquired. Because I totally use those. Let's get out of here. I have no idea where this is going to end up. But it leaves the dungeon at the end. That is always something that I appreciate. When they uh, 
give you an easy exit out, or if not an easy exit out, at least a quick way of teleporting, and a lot of games don't do that, even modern games, which sucks, makes you go all the way to the end, and they're like, okay, now find your way out, like, fuck, I don't remember how I got here. Ah, by all the beards of my ancestors, how did you, where did you come from? Don't worry about that. You made a hole in my wall. Yeah, I tend to do that. Yes, you should get it fixed. It's gonna cost me a fortune, isn't it? I can't believe this. There better not be more of your troublemaking kind crawling in after you. I swear, this city is going to the criminals and the nuts. I caught a couple of those along the way. Where am I, anyway? Uh, armorer shop. You again. Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of wrecking another part of my shop? A little of both. Um, do you have a daughter named Dagna? I... Has she been bothering you? It's a whiff of surface thing, and she's like a cave tick. Won't let go. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's the one that wants to become a mage. Um. Ah, oh, that girl. I've been telling her for years to give up those foolish notions. Magic's a human trick. If Dagna wants enchantment, I can apprentice her to a lyrium crafter. I'm sorry she bothered you. Damn it. Um, good. I don't need to hear everyone's personal problems. Many apologies. Perhaps I could take your mind off the insult by showing you around the store. That's not exactly what I had in mind. Uh, no, I'm done. You're welcome back if you change your mind. And you needn't bring a lot of coin. We also accept items in trade. Right, I'll trade with him off screen should I need to. I didn't update my quest. I was thinking that might have uh, cancelled it, but it didn't. Wait, what the hell? Gangster's hideout is here. Okay. I thought it was going to be behind him, but apparently it's behind the, the bookcase. Interesting. Uh, let's just get out of here and we'll continue the main quest at least uh, while we're here. Uh, oh, that's where people died, so I need to head the other way. So all that work. And we pretty much didn't even make it to the Diamond Quarter, or even close to the Diamond Quarter. What the hell's the he Hall of Ho Heroes? Was I here before? Yeah, this is the main entrance. Never mind. Never mind. I thought that was, like, someplace new, and I'm like, oh, I haven't been there. No, no. Where's the Nug guy? I got a couple Nugs for you. You're the best Wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. Yes, of course there are. Which way is to the Diamond Quarter? There we go. Yeah, I, I think I picked up two nugs. They make this sound when they're nearby, so it's easy to pick them up. Oh, I can throw flasks at people? I didn't know that. Probably should pay attention, but once again, the, the items. I don't, I don't use items. I don't like consumables for, for magic. That's just my style, I guess you could say. Uh, where is uh, Haramont's place? Is this Haramont's place? It is. How's Haramont? of the hour. Lord Balin's claims that Lord Harrowmont's soft on Darkspawn proven false by alliance with Grey Wardens. Okay, sure. Let's just go into his estate, apparently. Not House Harrowmont, Harrowmont's estate. And we can go talk to this guy just by bumping into the butler that I didn't see because, well, they're short. And we can talk to Harrowmont directly, that's right. I heard the news. Jarvia and her are dead. I suppose it was unrealistic to expect them to surrender. I probably wouldn't have accepted that any. Yes. They were vermin. I cleared them out. I offered them mercy, but they chose to fight, which is a total lie. Would that some of the noble guest had such loyalty. I have no desire to go back on my word. But when Balin heard the news about Jarvia, he raised the stakes. He is forcing a vote in the next two days. By law... That prevents the assembly from hearing any other pleas. To help with your troops, I will require your assistance one last time. That's no surprise. Do you know anything of the Paragon Branca? Yes, totally. <laughs> other than the fact that Paragons remind me of High Summoners and Branca sounds like Braska, I have no idea what you're on about. As a Paragon, she outranks even the assembly. Were she to support me as kin, this awful debate would be over. What if she's dead? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and it was fine, whatever. It's hard to say what she would do. She wasn't exactly known for her predictability. What do you mean she was? She never seemed to like being a paragon. She was devoted to her craft, never cared for politics. But one of the most brilliant minds Orzammar has seen. Bronca hated Darkspawn with a passion. She would certainly be a valuable voice to support your treaty. Right, of course she is. Um... Fine. What if she's dead? Her entire house went with her. It would take a lot to kill so many. If not, bringing proof of her death or a body to return to the stone would still show that as an ancestor it was my hand she guided to her remains. Of course. Fine, I'll do it. My men traced Branca's disappearance to an ancient crossroads known as Caradin's Cross. It is many miles below where we normally venture. But I can provide a map to lead you there. Just enter the deep roads through the mines. Thank you again. And may the ancestors guide your steps. Holy crap, and I got a level up for talking to people. Hooray, the best kind of level up. Alright, so now I need to go through the mines. Of course we do. Have I made that reference before? I'm making it again. We go through the mines. Uh, that, that, and that, sure. So you can level up something. Uh, she probably needs to level up combat tactics as well. <laughs> Just everybody needs tactics. Arcane shield. Sh the shield's not bad. And restoring some health. So, I could go for a revive. Revive does sound good. Fire is, like, freaking all bad. Like, sorry, I'm not doing fire. Fire is always, always, always friendly fire. Cone, which is friendly fire. Um, cold damage. Everybody's already kind of doing that. Uh, mass rejuvenation. To all... Oh, shit. That... That's pretty damn good. Cost 28 magic, though. Same as... well, it's a little bit more. That is pretty good, we'll see. Uh, that's... no. No. Uh, summon a wisp, what the hell? Uh, spell shield, no. Mana cleanse, no. Walking bomb sucks. Telekinetic weapons. Increase armor penetration, of course. And then we've got entropy, which is a thing. Uh, hostile targets and trapped in a waking nightmare unless they pass a mental resistance chest. They are randomly stunned, attack other enemies, and become the caster's allies for the duration of the effect. Enemies that are already asleep cannot resist. Oh, that sounds like something I'm chaining with sleep. That sounds awesome. Alright, let's go for that. Entropy. Um, and she's got a couple tactic slots, but now I need to rearrange this. What, what else am I not using? Vulnerability Hex. I'm not using any of that stuff up front because it's only for one person, you know? Uh, that's actually pretty good. A less combat... Yeah, no. There we go. Move this all up. No, oh, damn it. Bring that... No. Spells. There we go. That's the right one. The buttons in this game, they're not mapped the way that I would think all the time. Okay, so, no. Actually, we want this to go right after sleep. Waking nightmare. There we go. Okay, so, I believe with that done, we need to head into the deep mines. We shall go through the mines. We're going the long way around. I've... Whatever. I love the movie, damn it. I love the whole series. So I reference it way too damn much. We will go through the mines next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by the mine-going party of Charles Mario, Stan Alistair, and Morgan. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.